Hi, how are you today? I'm a little bit hungover, so please excuse my voice if it gradually dies throughout the video. Uh, won't be Thursday, not Friday, because we are going to read the Japanese rose cans and I will translate them for you. So, let's have a good time and enjoy the chapter. Cool, so, apparently no cover page, at least I don't see it. I'm inclined to think that there isn't one, since the title of the chapter is slapped among the panels. And the chapter is titled O Tori, Big Bird, Tori could be bird, but it's written in katakana, so who the fuck knows. Anyway, we start the chapter up in the sky, and we're checking in on Momo, and we have this stunning overview of Onigashima approaching the capital from high above, being pulled back by Momo, who, <laughs> even as a dragon, looks tiny in comparison to the whole chunk of island that is Onigashima. And Momo says, I'm moving, I'm moving backwards, away from the capital, even if just a little. Okay, so we haven't exploded yet, and Momo here seems to be making some progress, which is good. As if I would drop something like this on the city. Okay, huh? Is someone calling? So Momo is hearing voices, and my bet's on Zunisha. Obviously, she's a very chatty elephant. Okay, now we move back to Onigashima and onto the life floor. And we see Kit's monstrous arm and Big Mom just casually chilling in a pile of rubble. Big Mom was blown away, someone says. And on the next page, people are cheering. Could it be that they have bitten her? Please, guys. And we have two panels of Law and Kit's respective crews cheering for their captains. Super wholesome. Oh, really, these crews need more attention. Poor glorified extras. Then we have a panel of Big Mom looking <laughs> breathtakingly gorgeous. And someone saying, Oh, yeah. oh that's someone is Kit. It worked, right? Fucking old hack. And that text bubble in the corner is Law saying, Oi, Eustas, ya, nido me da zo. Oi, Eustas, it's the second time. <laughs> second time what? Penetrating mama? Right, so we see Law approaching Kit from behind and he goes, Ore no waza no ato ni hade na kougeki o shite, shoushakan da shiagatte. Law is a petty little bitch. So after my big move, you throw in a flashy attack and go around feeling like the winner. I am not your undercard, got it? <laughs> For fuck's sake, spare me the pissing contest. Honestly. And Kit seems to agree. Like, whatever, it doesn't matter, don't say stupid things. And on the next page, Law still won't let it go. <laughs> this ain't gonna end well. If you say that, then do it yourself next time. Will you give the big blow? Um, uh, I will stab the end. I will be the one stabbing the end. Whatever. Anyway, Trafalgar. More like Trafalgar Brad. Because, guys, you're still in the middle of a battlefield, okay? And I'm pretty sure that's Big Mom back on her feet. So, like... Can you can it? Can you keep it in your pants and focus on your surroundings, please? And then Kit goes, Ore ni sashizun janeyo. You don't give me orders. Okay. We killed the old hack thanks to my special blow. <laughs> now Ola turns into a five-year-old and says, So what's after the cow? A hippo? An elephant? What even is this conversation anymore? Although, to be fair, there is an elephant approaching the perimeter, so you might be onto something, Law. Then Kit says, shut up! What, are you revealing your hand? Oh, seriously, my anxiety is through the roof. Like, Big Mom is gonna wake up any time now and fuck you both up and you're going to deserve every bit of it. And indeed, <laughs> Big Mom is back. And with a broken wrist, apparently. Look, Big Mom's bone! <laughs> Which is a weird way to phrase it, like, say, look at her hand, or look at her wrist, or arm, but 
bone. Anyway, what do I know? And mama is pissed. Naibu kara no shougeki wa awara mo itta ka? Did the shock waves from inside? Naibu kara no shougeki wa arawa ribs? So did the shock waves did the shock waves from inside go to the ribs too? I may be translating this wrong, but we get the gist of it. Big Mom is basically cursing Torao's entire family tree. Trafalgar's technique is dangerous. Well yes it is. It penetrated you twice, girl. Oi 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 that hand. I'm not liking that bubble thingy. Nothing good ever comes from bubbles in one piece. Ask Zoro, ask Nami's climb attacks victims. I'll give you life, my bones. <laughs> hi, mama, hi, mama, 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 ha, ha, ha. That's literally what it says. <laughs> She's her own cheerleader. I love that for her. And her bones are healed. Although this is one piece, so a glass of milk would have done the trick just the same. Then we see Law and Kid on the next panel, and Law says, Look, I'm not even joking. Uh, with the next room? With the next room, I'll be exhausted. So, the next attack will be my last. We have to make it count. So, you, and obviously Kid interrupts him, very offended. Like, I just told you not to give me instructions, or I just told you not to tell me what to do. And Mama calls for Prometheus, Napoleon, and Hera, and charges against them. And Kit says, It's no use. This is originally scrap iron. Then Big Mom, she says, What is no use is you guys. The time of dreaming, the time of dreams is over. Little bastards. Hundreds of people like you have sunk in the sea. We've been raining for decades, ever since the time you guys were drinking milk. And on the next few panels, we have Kate launching an attack. A sign. S. N. And the assignment has crushed Mama's back and head. That's always nice. And Kid is charging again with his bull thingy. And the homies are telling Mama to move, but she can't get the thing off. Ooh, and then this happens. Screw the bones, how are these women's internal organs? Then we have this rather imposing panel of Big Mom towering over Kid. Baho ho. That's an attack. A mother's, mother's visit? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you all better run. Run for your lives. And Big Mom launches misery. We have a new friend. And she looks terrifying. Let's move. The attack. It's alive. Yeah, it seems so. Go for it, misery, the shitty kids. Oh, but wait, Mama, you may want to look up because there's a whole chunk of building hovering over your head. And Lil goes, tact. And boom! Damn. And all the extras are running around trying to get away. Why is anyone even there still? What, like, why? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There goes Law with his mega sword. <laughs> and he goes straight for the boob. <laughs> Actually, it might be the sternum or the heart. Honestly, Law is so small in comparison to Mama, I can't tell where he's aiming. And Mama goes, aren't you courageous? Can you get away? Can't you leave? Oh my God, he really went for the chest. Like everyone is looking like, what are you doing? And Law is thinking, not yet, deeper. <laughs> What am I reading? What is this? Captain, what are you doing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sexually assaulting an elderly woman. That's what he's doing. Puncture. 
Wait, what the fuck? Like, did he perforate the whole island? Like, look at this. It kind of looks like the power pole connecting Corinne's tower to the lookout. Doesn't it? Is it just me? Okay. Okay, this is getting out of hand. Lord, don't destroy the land. We're trying to protect it. <laughs> Even Momo is like, what's that massive hole? And Yamato too, what is that hole? And Mama is apparently immortal and tells Misery to go fry and kill him. Yakikorose, yeah. And next we have a very exhausted Law saying, Go, use this! And Misery says, Huh? What's that? And of course, How many times do I have to tell you, Trafalgar? Don't fucking give me orders! Big Mom doesn't budge and she says, Go for it! You won't bring me down. I am Big Mom! And Kate, looking cool as ever, says, That's why we will erase you. And the attack fucking lands! And Lo ends the chapter with, Your era is over. Fucking one-liners. And by your, he means hers and Kaido's. I... Two weeks in a row, ending the chapter with such great one-liners. Kid and Law, <claps> props to you. So, questions. Will Big Mom still be alive and kicking next chapter? Probably. Is this getting a bit old? Yes, definitely. Very much so. Am I confused as to why Yamato was staring at the hole and not dealing with the aftermath of last week's cliffhanger? Something I wondered for two seconds and then I forgot about it. What else happened? Misery. Misery happened. And isn't she just hair on steroids? Because I think so. Also, Lo and Kate bickering like an old married couple kind of reminds me of Zoro and Sanji and now I miss Mr. Prince and Mr. Mosshead. Also, we already have Zoro on trial for racist crimes, but do we have to have one for Lo too? For assaulting Mama's chest? That's up for debate. Am I also running out of things to say? Most definitely yes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed both the chapter and my translation and I will see you on the next one. Bye.